my name is Tor and in this video I want to show you how you can make money and I'm not going to try to teach you anything I'm not going to try to tell you what to do I'm trying to literally just lay some road ahead of you point out a path that you could take if you wanted to do something more than what you have now and this is my problem I come from a place of experience I've been doing this for a long time and right now there are many people who are suffering from copy pastanitis. That means that they're literally just taking what they see online and they're posting that on their own place and they're just sharing that with the world. And most of the times, they can't really back up their claim. So what I will do in this video, I want to show you a few paths and I will explain in a way that I hope is going to make sense so that you see that for yourself. I'm not going to tell you something that you might not believe is true. I am going to lay it out so that it makes 100% total sense. Because if it doesn't, then why are you here? Why am I making this video? It's currently 3 a.m. I should have been to bed, but I love what I do. And that is the point of this. You see, most people, they fear. They have a fear of reaching out. They have a fear of admitting that they have something they have issues with. They have a fear of admitting they are not where they want to be. They have a fear of ridicule if they were to publicly announce that they are in a place that they don't want to be. And sometimes that fear keeps us from living a life that is more than what we have if we want something more. We have dreams, but we don't live them. We have jobs, but we don't love them. We have money, but we don't have enough. You where I'm coming from? Yeah. So this, again, is just from the top of my mind. This is not scripted. I'm not showing you a Google document shared on a Loom video. This is literally me saying, based on experience, trial and failure, what you can do with your time or money right now. If you have more time than money, you should learn a skill. A skill that could provide you an income. <clears throat> a skill is... Often something that people don't want to invest time in. And that's why it's a high-valued skill, right? If you can create text that makes people want to buy something from you, that is very valuable. That is called copywriting. That is definitely something that you should check out if you have more money or more time than money. Same with web design. Although today, with artificial intelligence, that might be going off the market soon. Maybe that is just going to be a commodity like so many other things. Kind of like copywriting, actually. But if you don't know how to use the AI to craft really good text, you're going to see that it is AI. Like, right away. It removes your soul. You don't want to do that. If you have a passion for something, and you have something that you can learn to really get that passion out there in the world, that is a very valuable investment of your time. I just had a conversation today, actually, with a person who was working as a UI designer at a game developer. But he loved taking photographs. Like, he loved making movies. He wanted to be creative, but he wasn't doing that because he had to choose one or the other. He had to choose the passion or he had to choose the sustainability of the family. The income, the paycheck, or the passion. Here's the plot twist. If you really love what you do, then the money is going to follow that passion. Believe me. Let's say that you are really good at taking pictures. So you take pictures and you see that in national art museums and stuff, people have been taking pictures that are more shitty. Less quality than the pictures you're taking. And they're charging a fuck ton of money for them. Why? Why not you? Could it be that you simply have not shared that passion? That people have not seen that side of you? Same with music, drawing, communicating, singing, dancing, martial arts, body sculpting, crafting. I could go into an endless list of things that humans can do. If you love what you do, you are going to be repaid for it. Believe me. So if you have more time than money, learn a skill. It could be copywriting, developing. If you learn programming today, 
and there are a bunch of free courses online where you can do step-by-step, -step, learn everything that you need to know just by following the YouTube videos in a playlist laid out by professional programmers. It's hard in the beginning because you're literally learning a new language, but you didn't speak fluently when you got born either. You probably couldn't run a marathon either when you were one years old. You have to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to crawl. You have to learn how to say daddy and mama. All these things are things we learn and then we go to school and then we forget how to learn. Ironic, isn't it? How the creativity dies when you go into the schooling system. As Mark Twain said brilliantly, don't let the school get away, get in the way of your education. It does though, doesn't it? We are able to do whatever we want today. And I say that with the utmost trust that it is true, because that is exactly what I am doing. I have been doing this for about 10 years now. I've been on this journey for 10 years. It started without me knowing when I got the blood clot. Actually, then we're actually, we're approaching 20 years, 20 years of that journey. And during the last, wow. <laughs> wow. During the last almost 10 years, holy shit, I'm a veteran. <laughs> I've been going all in on the whole service providing online business, trying to make a living for myself that is not made by an employer. Like I'm not, I am not dependent on an employer or a government check. That was my goal. Because with that, there is no ceiling to what I can earn. There is no ceiling to what you can earn. But it is the fear, isn't it? It is doing the thing that is so unnatural to you because you have been taught that you have to do this thing to get a job, to get a mortgage, to get a house, to get married. Maybe not all those things, but we have things that we are taught from when we are very young. Well, today, the world is not the same. It has changed. The classrooms look exactly the same as they did 50 years ago. I'm going to pause there for a minute. The classrooms today look exactly the same as they did 50 years ago. But the world has changed. The internet changed things. You can do things now where you can reach out to people wherever in the world. If you have something that you love doing, find more people who love that thing. Start sharing your passion. It's as easy as that. Start sharing your genuine, authentic passion. Not what you do for money. The passion. I can promise you that if you do that, and if you do that genuinely, you will be asked, how can I pay you? And if you want to go really in-depth, you can reach out to the very person you want to work with. Start a relationship. Get to know the person. Add value. If you have something that they need and you are offering value and they have money, then at one point you can probably say, what if we jump on a call? I've been helping you a lot. I have something that I want to talk to you about. You jump on a call. You talk more with the person personally, face to face. You help them. And then you say, I have a program or I have a service. I have this and that. It costs this and that. If you want to help me out by me helping you out, this is my fee. This is where you pay. Here's the link. Here's the details. Thank you for your business. Why are we so dependent on having a employer and a paycheck? Why can't you be the employer? Why can't you pay other people to live their life? Like if you pay a Filipino $200, that's a lot of money. What if that Filipino helps you earn $1,000? And you give 200 to them, maybe even 400 as a bonus. You still made a profit. You just changed a fucking family's life. That's how fucked up the economic system in the world is. You know, the euro, if you have a hundred euros, you can live pretty, pretty decent. 
in other underdeveloped countries. Have a night out for cents. Do all these things that most people can't do because they don't have the money. But for you, it's only $10. For them, it's like, it's fucking $10. It's a paradigm shift. So many people are complaining about not having what they want in life. But it's not that complicated. You and your thoughts are making it complicated. You're thinking more in terms of what if and I can't because. Instead of following your passion and your intuition... And delivering what you love doing. If you do that, people will notice. Fucking trust me on that. Because if you just watch back on my journey, the endless videos on YouTube, all the things on Facebook and Instagram and all over the place over the last few years now, fucking almost closing up on a decade, you can see that people respond. People want to repay you if you help them. That's just how we are wired. So I call it no strings attached recipro reciprocity. Just like Dean Graziosi. No strings attached reciprocity means that you are giving without expecting to return. Or expecting a return. You're giving just for the sake of giving. If you do that to the right person, I can fucking guarantee you that you will see some major return on investment pretty soon. Just don't undersell yourself don't go out there to the simps to the people who are victimized to the people that don't want your money your service who don't want to pay your money you know there's a very good fucking story for this i'm saying that word a lot because this is very passionate for me it's dear to my heart and i'm sitting here at 3 a.m to try to tell you how how it can be done a dad a father was lying on his deathbed and in comes his, let's say, daughter this time. And he gives her a watch. And he, he says, I want you to go down to the pawn shop and sell this watch. And she did. And she comes back and she says, they wanted to give me $200 for it. Because it was broken and was old. He said, all right. I want you to go down to this club, this watch club. And so she did. And then she comes back and she says, they wanted to offer me $1,000 for it because it was old. It was unique. Then he said, yes. Now I want you to go down to the museum. He went down to the museum. She comes back. And she said that the museum offered me $100,000 for the watch. Then the father replies, I want you to take this lesson with you throughout your life. Because you will find yourself wasting your energy and your value if you're talking to the wrong people. Talk to the right people and they will reward you for your uniqueness. There are no other people like you. So don't try to be a sheep following the crowd like drooling zombies just consuming everything that is handed to them. You have a power in you. So if you start sharing that power and believing that you can, the frequency of your belief will take you places you can't fucking imagine. But I've, I've noticed a pattern during all this. And that is the fact that while most people will say that they want something, they are almost incapable of doing the things that is required, even if that is so much as just commenting. A single comment on a video. Because that comment might signify that they are less than other people. Because they, are have, they have questions. They don't want to be made a fool of. That's why we created the Legacy Forge. Because people can come in there in a safe place, guided by people who've been through the storms, who wants them to succeed, who can, based on their experience, see the light in them and raise them up. You know, there's this beautiful meme that I saw a few weeks ago. Society says, you can be whoever you want. 
society also says, no, not like that. We don't like that. You need to find your people. You need to share your value. In this age where information is everywhere and fakeness is the new mainstream thing, we need to share our knowledge and wisdom. Because look at the fucking generations that are coming right now. Look at Instagram. Look at TikTok. Look at Snapchat. These people probably have major father issues. Because their fathers and their mothers, many of them will just think that I will provide my kid with everything that I didn't have when I grew up. An iPad in the hands of a seven-year-old was not an option when you grew up. Because the technology didn't exist. And today we can see our kids melting. Literally. Their brains are turned into mush. Looking at brain-dead content of dancing monkeys on YouTube shorts who use psychology to retain attention and make them watch more content that does not provide any value whatsoever. But if you have wisdom and experience to share, then fucking share it because we need it. This is why I'm passionate. I literally see this as something that could actually do some good in the world. If I can make one person start sharing their passion, start sharing your authentic thoughts, start being real for once, then maybe, maybe some people will listen. Maybe there will be a butterfly effect. I beg you to be yourself. Because there's a lot of replicas out there and they don't know who the fuck they are. Look at Machine Gun Kelly. If you need help with this, I do coach people. I usually turn people to saga.torsopola.com because that's the affordable solution. But if you are in a place where you have more money than time, reach out. That's all I want to say. You have to walk the talk. If you're not happy with your life, then fucking change it. Make those hard decisions and face the fear. Walk the talk. I can promise you, you're going to see some insane freedoms in your life that you didn't even consider before. The clarity of mind is going to be mind-boggling because you have never seen it. All of a sudden, you feel like you are capable of anything because you are. But as long as you keep doing something that is just crushing your soul, it's not going to happen. And I say that with the most amount of empathy and love and understanding that I possibly can. At the same time, I know that people are offended often when they are faced with their own limitations. But if you don't know what you don't know, you're not to blame. We have been taught to follow a system that is fucking fundamentally flawed. So don't fall victim to the copy pastinitis. Follow your own path. This concludes this public service announcement. I love your face. I hope you're really happy. I hope that you are doing everything and that is fulfilling you. And if you're not, then start doing something about it. Be uncomfortable. Take an ice bath. It clears the mind. Or talk to like-minded people. Those who see you. For who you are, truly. There are not a lot... Of there's not a lot of them. But I can promise you, I can shift your reality if we talk. Because the ones that do see you, they see you. They want you to succeed because it's the, for the benefit of the fucking planet. So, go to bed, he said to himself. I love your face. Take care of your fucking family. I'll see you in the next one.